Hey, yo. That boy Andy, that dude's a fool, man, on his Instagram. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing when you like what you see at the end of the video. Now, if you don't know why I said that boy Andy's a fool, it's because King James, LeBron James on Instagram, had like in his story one of Andy's songs and he went like on, he made two videos about, about how he's like, I don't even know, I'm just gonna play him right here. Oh my God, oh my God. Honey, you showering? When you get out the shower, do me a favor and pack your bags because we're moving to Los Angeles. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is LeBron James posted my song on his Insta story. So we basically have season tickets and we're going to be buds. So wrap it up. Not sure if you're aware, but uh, LeBron James played my song last night on his Insta story. Did he play your song, too, or was it just... That's what I thought. Why don't you take out the track? 12 seconds later. Andy actually, like, put me on his story. He put me on his Instagram, on his Twitter, last time that he watched my video to... Uh, I forgot the name of the song already. Oh, it was Clarity. It was Clarity. So he posted that, and that, man, that was dope. And that's why I wanted to make this video, because of the fact that he posted that same thing about LeBron James, and how he felt like him and LeBron were gonna be best buds, and they're gonna move to LA. That's what I felt when Andy posted my, my when Andy posted my video. I said, nah, I can't talk to y'all no more. I'm switching up, because I, I, mama, we made it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just kidding. But after after Andy posted that, I went to LeBron's story and I was like, what is he talking about? And he had like the rarest of, of sneaker collections and he had Andy's song, this one, on top of it. And I was like, whoa, where was this track? This is the track that everybody was telling me I need to react to. And it sounds like a bop right from the five, first five seconds. So that's what we're doing today, coming in hot, featuring Lecrae. And you know what I always say, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description. I'm hype. If LeBron, if LeBron on cosigns and Andy makes a funny video, it's gotta be hype, you know? But let's get it. Yo, I hate that when it happens, when you got that deep laugh going on and then you start coughing and it's like, it feels like you're about to die. Literally die of laughter. One of the dudes that's been following the channel, been subscribed to the channel for a long time, and I ha and I follow him on Instagram, John, John Ottman, I believe it is. Yo, if you wanna see a fire ass kit collection, yo, follow this man. I'll put it on the screen right here, John Ottman 5. That shit is fuck flames, bro. But he was the one that told me this is words played. Like I never, I haven't listened to his music, but he said that he did a good job like acting right here as a security guard. So, but John, yo, I appreciate your subscription. And if you want to send me some kicks, I mean, <laughs> feel free dog. Yeah, I know I'm getting the kick game up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. It's the boom. Dolly Hanson, you scared me. Dolly Hanson. Good to know the calories here. Look, guys, I'm backed up like the 405 on Carpocalypse. Take the watch. Help yourself to the fat bill, yeah? <laughs> I'm backed up like the 405 in the Carpocalypse, the highway. Cali? Cali Highway? 405? New York Highway? Anyway, doesn't even matter. Why am I even talking about it? I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. Oh, 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 that beat though. Not even the beat, just the bass line. This is about to be fire. Do a lot. I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. No big. I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. This beat is fucking fire, dog. Oh, he said no big, like no B-I-G. And Pac, I shoot my shot. Yo, no lie, he's coming in hot. Even on the song, the instrumental comes in hot. God. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> God. 
That beat is merciless, dog. It just, oh my God. Yo, he said, come in and hot just like the fajitas, dog. When that sizzle, when that shit sizzle, you're like, oh, why didn't I order that? Sometimes it's even on fire. Yo, Mexican restaurants go hard. Then he said, I write what I live, my life on the speaker. Oh, that fajita line though, yo. Yeah, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Just like the fajita. <laughs> I write what I, write what I live. My life on the speaker. On the speaker. I'm nice with the flow. Nice with the just like the demeanor. Yo, the energy that this dude has in his music videos is just like off the charts, bro. Literally, his demeanor and his energy is just hilarious. And it's just like a fun time. It's a good time. Just his flow right there, man. It's just like just the abundance of swag and the abundance of confidence that he has in himself. I love that for him. <laughs> and then just the... <laughs> Feeding my fam, I'm feeding the meter. Uh, they got the iron while I got the steamer. I bring the fire, but you never seen her. I testify, I don't need a subpoena. They want my soul uh, to go to Korea. I love my dog. Oh, 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 God. He comes with the bars, bro. He said, if they want my soul, like if like if I'm going to sell my soul to the game, they better go to Korea because my soul is here. And he's talking about the, I don't know, is it the capital of, of South Korea, North Korea? The, the homophone is fire right there. And he said, they got the iron, like they packed that heat, that steel, and I got the steamer. Yo, just like the wordplay. And then he said, I testify, don't need no subpoena. Like, like literally testifying in court, but he's talking about testifying to God. Yo. Like he doesn't need anybody to force him to go and testify and praise and praise God and praise the love that he has for Jesus. Because literally when you're subpoenaed, you're being forced. You're being forced to show up to court. That's what a subpoena is. Fire. They want my soul better go to Korea. I love my dog just like I'm Peter. Gotta hey. protect him. I made the call up with just like I'm rapping. I know we hey. now we back together, but I guess that is better now. Later than never like uh, what's happening. Yo, the, the flow and the staccato delivery and the enunciation is just it's all there. See, this isn't him trying to go like double time and rap crazy fast. Like he's trying to get a message across and he's rapping just as fast as he needs to for the for the for the vibe of the song. And he said, I love my dog. He's talking like probably talking about Lecrae because it's a duo song. Just like I'm PETA, obviously the obviously the animal loving cup. Is it a nonprofit? I don't know. PETA's crazy. But just like PETA, I love my dog. And he said, I made the call up just like I'm reffing. Like literally I made the call up like I called, but also the call, like calling a touchdown or calling a safety or calling a foul, just like I'm reffing, fire. And he said, I know we left and we're back together. Like, I don't know enough about their backstory or what have you. Like, I'm sure that's got to do with the history between these two. That, that's what this bar is about. But I don't know enough in the backstory to know what he's talking about. Made the call up, but just like I'm reffing. I know we left, yeah, now we back together. But I guess that is better now, later than never like, what? That beat, the, just that beat too right there. Like, it's the beat's going. And then as he's doing that fast spit, like, in your face nonstop, the beat cuts out, like, half of the time. That's a good production decision right there. Just like I'm reffing. I know we left, yeah, now we back together. But I guess that is better. Now later than never like uh, what's happening? I'ma need y'all quit asking when me and my wife gonna have some kids. Right now we just hey. practicing. Uh, practicing. Right now we just practicing. Me and my wife gonna have some kids. Quit asking. It's like Ye said in ham. My homie's still young. I ain't had no kids, but I've been practicing with some actresses as bad as she. Right now we just practicing. <laughs> practicing. Teacher said quit rapping, man. That gonna hurt my average. I said thank God I ain't average. Uh, yeah. Teacher said, stop rapping. That's going to hurt my GPA. It's going to hurt my grade average. Thank God I ain't average. Bar. Hurt my average. I said, thank God I ain't average. Yeah, I'm a bright young man. Bright young man. Kill the GPA. GPA. Uh, and the BPM. BPM. Uh. Look, we on. So say what you say. Because that's A with Lecrae. From the A train to the A. I'm coming in. I don't do it. He said, yo, from the A train in New York. To the A, Atlanta, where Lecrae, is Lecrae from Atlanta? Why do I feel like he's from Houston? He might not be from Houston. I think he's probably from Atlanta. But he said, I killed the GPA, like I aced everything, and I killed the BPMs. Great point average, beats per minute, talking about the beats. Yo, that whole verse right there, and the beat, and everything. Oh my God, it's so hype. So say what you say, cause that's A with Lecrae, from the A train to the A, I'm coming in hot. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. Mm. 
I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. Ah. No big. I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. God, that beat, son. I'm gonna have to get up again just because, yo. Oh my God. Oh, the beat is ridiculous. And then the swag, it's just all, it's just so, it's just so much drip on the song. God. Boy said I don't do the most, but I do a lot. Like they're literally most and a lot are synonyms, but at the same time in the context that he's using them, they're like complete polar opposites. Doing the most is like, hey, yo, bro, stop. You're like, you're doing too much. You just chill out over there. But doing a lot is like, yo, I see you, son. You on your grind. That's fire. I just spit like, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I, I've like caught myself when I'm about to cuss because I know that I know that the demographic that listens to Reach Records isn't the same demographic that listens to Lil Dicky, for example. Some crossover, but not really. So I've been trying to like kick back on the on the cussing and the cursing for this video, and it's hard. It's pretty uh, it's pretty front and center in my language. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. No big. I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. <laughs> God. Shoot that. I'm coming. I don't know why, but I saw when I saw this, I saw 21 Pilots. I was like, oh, it's a collab with 21 Pilots? Okay. Nah, you're doing too much, Ernie. Yeah. I'm coming in. Wake them up. Wake them up. Wake him up, wake him up. See him still sleeping, so I had to shake him up. Shake him up. I kept it too Oh, 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 oh. Nah, it's not right. Is this Jabba Walkies? Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not. They don't have the mask. But it could be because they do have the mask. Did Lecrae and Andy know that we were going to be having to wear masks nonstop? Ooh, shh. Shake him up, shake him up. I kept it too real. Yeah. I wasn't faking up. No. My real life was a headline. headline. Your real life got a deadline. deadline. My timeline ah. was a hashtag. Your timeline just a hate crime coming in hot. Yeah. My timeline was a hashtag, like the timeline. The timeline is what's on is what's on Twitter, the TL. And he said, my real life is a headline. Your real life is a deadline. Like you got someone to answer to. You ain't doing your own thing out here. You work for somebody, not me. Yo, timeline, just a hate crime. Coming in hot, yeah. feeling like pop. Yeah. Back in I fall when he took five shots. Too much drive ah. to ride your wave. Ditch my top and I'm off that lot. Black on black. Too much drive, too much of my own drive to ride, to ride your wave. Pull off the top and I pull off the lot. Oh, just like the wordplay, like drive, like literally drive. I pull off the top and pull off the lot, but like internal drive. It's my top and I'm off that lot. Black on black on black on black on black on black on black. You don't have to ball a rap to get them racks on racks. Mm. Uber pullers try. And you don't have to ball and you don't have to rap to get them racks. Don't let the don't let this world fool you, young black kings. You can get to the bag without the drugs, without the basketball, without the rap skills. You just gotta have that drive. You don't have to ball a rap to get them racks on racks. No. Uber pullers trying to catch my vibe and find my way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, I know I'm ratchet, but I'm really safe. Hot sauce dripping. Yeah. Everybody wants to start dipping. Yeah. First, nobody want to listen. Shh. Now everybody pay attention. Mm. Now they want to be around now that he's up. He said, first, ain't nobody want to listen. See, everybody's hating. They're like, you're never going to make it. Now everybody pay attention. Were they around when he was hustling, trying to get to this position? Answer's not. Nah. The answer's always not. Nah. Anybody that's gone through any kind of grind can understand that. That's how it was with this YouTube. Oh, he's got 90,000 subscribers almost? Oh, okay, I can see it. But nah, people weren't saying that when I had one or two. Now everybody pay attention. Huh. Now everybody pay fee. <laughs> Even Trump got to take a knee. When the <laughs> gonna see. Make the wall fall down like, yee. Yeah. Even Trump got to take a knee. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. Do I'm going to make a toast because we still alive. Suck. No big, I feel like Pac, I shoot the shot, I'm coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot, shoot that shot, shoot that shot. Yo, I wonder what, I wonder why they decided to do the video like in this 4-3 video format with the black bars on the side. This is like, this is like analog TV formatting versus 16 by 9, which is HD TV formatting. And by the way, the stylistic choice to use the fisheye lens, phew, Fire. But I wonder why they did it like that. I mean, there's nothing in the video that that shows there's a reason to do it like that. Ain't no big, ain't no big, feel like pop, feel like pop. We can't lose, we can't stop, we can't stop. Yeah, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. Shoot that shot. Hey, why not? Hey, why not? Hey, watch out. Come on, hot. Oh, the 
con the convicts are the kinjas. It's another group. It's another dance group. All right, all right, all right. I didn't know that, but still, fire. Yeah. That is a hype song if I've ever heard a hype song. Yo, they both killed it. Like Andy and Lecrae are like the epitome of what I think that Christian hip hop should be. And this might be the way a lot of other artists on Reach Records are because I know, at least from what people have told me, that Reach Records does Christian music differently. They do it more, they do it like, I don't, I don't wanna say urban, but they do it more like what you would think cr traditional music sounds like. Same lyricism, same, same like demeanor as traditional music, but we know that they have the foundational, they have Christianity at the foundation of their music and of their record label. But what makes Andy Andy and Lecrae's music different than traditional Christian music is that Christian music a lot of times has this has this tone like it's telling me or it's telling the audience like God is perfect, God is the all being and Jesus Christ is he died for our sins and so that way he can save us like we're being told versus Andy and Lecrae they're not telling us to believe that they're just putting their story on the track they're putting their life on the track and their life happens to have Christianity at its foundation so it comes it comes off as more authentic it comes off as less conscious condescending. It actually doesn't come off as condescending at all. It's like, yo, you do you. This is my experience with the faith. This is how I have been saved. And I'm not telling you that you need to follow the same thing. It would just be disingenuous if I didn't talk about it because it's a strong part of my life. You know, and I think that that's dope. But yo, that is today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, you subscribe as well. If you're not, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the Third Earnest, just like the channel. Links in the description below. Also, hit up the Discord if you want to talk to me. The Discord is the best place to do it. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for your time, everybody. I know it's valuable, and so it means the world to me that you sit here and watch these videos that I make for y'all. But that's it. Like I always say at the end of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.